President Bush will not be running for office again, um, the question of his wisdom or unwisdom in ordering this war is something that can be safely left to the historians at this point. So the question is, where are we now? And the question the motion has put is, are we winning the war? I would like to amend the motion to say, America and the Iraqis are now finally winning. Iraq is still a more dangerous place and a more hostile place and a worse place for most people than it was under Saddam Hussein. That is difficult to achieve, but we managed. In addition, we have enormously strengthened Iran, which is continuing to develop nuclear weapons unchecked by the United States. The American military is debilitated and tied down in this country, unable to do anything about the rapidly worsening situation in Afghanistan and Pakistan. The conditions in Iraq today and gradually improving over 2007 and 2008 are a dramatic difference. Schools, all schools are open in Iraq primary, secondary, and the 27 colleges, universities, and technical colleges that they, they have in Iraq. The marketplaces are teeming. There's a social fabric of, in Iraq that's taking place in the evening or on the, on the days off where people are visiting zoos and what's left of, of museums. And the, the, the natural rhythm of life is returning to the people of Iraq. I don't dispute for a moment that the surge to which the reference has been made this evening has been successful in military terms in reducing the amount of violence. I don't doubt that the insurgency itself may be slowly coming to an end and that fewer people are being killed on the streets of Baghdad than was the case in the past. But of course that is true of all wars. All wars gradually grind to an end in one form or another. But that is not the same as saying that you have won that war.